Thousands of Palestinians are fleeing northern Gaza on foot as food and water are running out. On Wednesday, November 8th, Israel announced that it would begin pausing military operations for four hours every day to allow humanitarian aid to enter and civilians to flee. A day earlier, 15,000 Palestinians fled northern Gaza during a pause in fighting, according to the United Nations. That is triple the number of people who left one day prior on Monday. The UN said those who are fleeing included children, older people, and people with disabilities who mostly traveled on foot in large groups, carrying white flags and minimal belongings. More than 70% of Gaza's population of 2.3 million have already been displaced since the war started on October 7th, but the number fleeing south has grown in recent days. This is because Israeli troops are now fighting Hamas fighters in Gaza City, and food and water is running out due to Israel's complete blockade of Gaza. On Thursday, November 9th, the UN said that all bakeries in the north of Gaza have been forced to close due to lack of fuel, water, and wheat flour. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has insisted that there will be no ceasefire unless Hamas releases all of its hostages. Hundreds of thousands of people still remain in Gaza, with many attempting to seek shelter at Al-Shifa, which is Gaza's biggest hospital. Many believe that the hospital may be safer than UN shelters, several of which have been struck by Israeli airstrikes and fleeing south, where Israeli airstrikes also continue. More than 10,000 Palestinians in Gaza, including more than 4,300 children, have been killed by Israel's relentless bombardment since October 7th, according to Palestinian officials. Many Palestinians say they are fearful this will be another Nekba when hundreds of thousands of Palestinians were expelled from their lands during the creation of Israel in 1948. Follow for more updates on the situation in Gaza.